Well, uh, in my endeavor to um, uh, keep explaining that how these transits affect us and how these transits have a different connotation when they are in different houses. I have explained initially about Saturn and uh, I've explained about Jupiter and now this time I'm going to explain to you all about Mars. How Mars when it is tra uh, transiting through the various 12 houses, what impact it has. And um, uh, if you've been following my series, you would uh, definitely know that all these houses are divided into four energies, that is the fire, the earth, the water and the air energy. So similarly, when these planets are going through these various houses, they do tend to adopt the energies of that particular house. So Mars, which is actually known as a very fiery planet, it's a very aggressive planet. It's a planet that which wins wars. It is known as a warrior planet. It can be used constructively and it can be used destructively depending upon the persons or the individual's persona. But at the same time, since our body is also made out of these four elements, that is water, air, earth and fire, these elements tend to have or build the attitude within us. So when these planets come into a particular sign and coordinate with the elements of our body, we can use it constructively or destructively. And now when Yola is seeing your chart, you have to see where your Mars planet is uh, placed. Uh, more often than not, Mars and Venus is in and around your sun sign. So you could probably see, look into your chart and see which sign your uh, planet is placed in the natal chart. So how your attitude is developed during that time. And then what is the transit showing because the transits are always different. And then accordingly analyze it. But uh, this is for your general explanation. You can't completely tune it into your life. So you must understand that when the planets are transiting the various houses, what do they demand of us? See, it's never a question of predictions. It's always like I maintain the fact that life is what you make it. So you have to learn how to create your own prophecies by understanding what the planets are demanding of us and how we are supposed to act in a particular way when a particular planet is in a particular house. Mars transiting the seventh house which is Libra and uh, it is commanded by the air sign. Now partnerships will suffer. See, because it's transiting the air sign, everybody has their own ego. Now, partnerships suffer because of the ego conflicts or adversaries would be very, very challenging for you. And you may not um, be probably looking into the depth of things or being realistic. It's like missing the forest for the trees. So that is how the arguments come in, the conflicts come in. Now, what you need to do when Mars is transiting the seventh house is by using your energy to work cooperatively and be calm and patient in your relationships if you want to sort the issues out. Now, whether the relationships are personal or whether they are professional, you may even find that you seem to need somebody's help in order to complete your tasks. So don't let your ego come your way. You must take the help. You must be compassionate to the people around you. Must be compassionate to yourself. Because this seventh house in Libra air sign basically means that you're missing the larger picture. And to see that larger picture, the small little things in life are much, much important. So you have to work in togetherness. You have to work in synergy with other people. So whenever you find yourself arguing with other people or in conflict with other people, just give a side glimpse to where your Mars is transiting, which sign it is transiting, and then reaccumulate your energies in that particular way and see that what is the planet demanding of me. So when Mars in the 7th house is demanding what? That you need to be compassionate, you don't need to be uh, having arguments or conflicting with other people. Relationships are very vivacious and dynamic during this time. So when a difference arises, be quick to settle it. But don't be impulsive to settle it. 
you need to understand why is the relationship going wrong you need to put yourself into the other person's shoes to realize that what is it why is the person thinking in that particular manner this happens always between uh, parents and uh, children between siblings and the boss and the the employer and the employees or the boss and the people working under them so uh, you know you'll have issues with the authorities you will have issues so if you're having issues with the authorities you need to be calm and be uh, completely straightforward by putting your points across honestly do that when the mars is in the forward motion not in the backward motion because however much you may try to explain to the higher authorities nothing will be understood because the mars is in the backward motion but when it is in the forward motion when you put your point across things would be readily acceptable so when a difference arises don't be quick to uh, don't be quick to settle it don't be impulsive to settle it but settle it you must and you should not sweep the matters under the carpet you need to address them your close personal relationships are lively during this cycle full of conflicts and resolutions and reconciliations if you just give a thought whom do you fight the most with with the people you care for with the people that you love with the people who matter the most in your life and at that particular ma moment who are the people who matter the most in your life one who hands out the money to you and one who hands out the emotions to you so even if these conflicts are coming or they are arising or arguments are happening don't be fearful or scared you just probably have to do introspection when the mars is in the backward retrograde motion and then address it when the mars is in the forward motion and you'll realize that your bonds whether they are personal or professional are actually more strengthened and you will be successful the transit of mars takes 23 months to travel in all the zodiac signs basically when you will look into your own chart you will realize where the um, uh, transit is because the almanac does gives us the, all the dates but just to give a clue to my clients you must uh, know that from january to march 9th mars is transiting aries and from march 10th onwards it's transiting Taurus. So probably, then further on, if you want to know how it is, you can divide these twenty-three months, and you will realize where the uh, Mars is transiting.